Ba -ba -do -ba -ba. I don't know why it does that. I really don't know why it does that sometimes. But that's okay. I should be up and running. Let's see. Hold on. Yes. I see an excellent connection. Chats appear to be working. Sensational. I'm just uh, posting in different places. So, not that anybody's here, I was going to say. So, bear with me. But there's nobody bear with me because there's nobody here right now. I assume the alerts must be working because people do seem to pop on here and I think it has to be because they're seeing some kind of notification on my keyboard over here. Where it's out of the way. There we are. Post in two more places really quick. And I remembered to actually put the right screen up this time. Amazing. You've got mail. Okay, well that was, sorry, that was really loud on the mic, because that was the alert telling me I'm live, which I appreciate, but I already knew. It's okay, though. Tells me it's working. That's how I know it's working. Okay. Thang. Thang. I don't know, I just said thang for some reason. I think I meant to say thanks, and I kind of trawled off. Trailed off. Trawled. Mmm. You can drink a water. Okay. You know what? That's a good idea. I see other people do this. I mean, let me say, hello, folks. It's a good way to make sure the chat is actually working. There it is. Good. It tells me that chat is working. We'll paste this down here and see if it shows up. Hello, folks. Excellent. Okay, it appears everything is working. So I'm gonna give this a minute or so. Because people do show up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait and see if anybody comes in. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can see. It doesn't appear so. Is that, is that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to allow you to have yeah, that's interesting. That it doesn't seem to allow you to have both. Well, I guess that sort of makes sense. I don't know if there's a way to add that. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if people show up from Twitch, then they'll say hello, I assume. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, really not. I'm not going to get really hung up on that. And participants. No, yeah, it does say that. Okay. Everything looks okay there. So, uh, where are we at here? Three minutes? Okay. Let's get started here. So, I'm going to do this. Got a little intro thing happening. I'm going to do something uh, a little different. Well, not, not really different uh, in terms of the stream. As you can see here, I have turned the iPad sideways. So, you get a little bit more real estate that you can see, especially if I zoom way in, you get a lot more here, so that it's a little bit more for you to see on the stream here. I'm not gonna worry about the Walkman being there. I don't think it's, oh, you know what I can do? I can make that Walkman slightly smaller. I don't really think it matters. I don't think it's gonna really obstruct anything. But I'll shrink it down a little bit just so it's out of the way. Ooh, 43 by 43, very nice. There we go, that's better. Okay. Yeah, we're fine now. All right, perfect. So let's get going here. People show up, they show up. So I was, you know what I'm gonna do? Since I have a second, since nobody's here, this is only gonna take me a minute. I'm gonna turn the fan on. It is a bit warm in here. So I'm going to turn this fan on. There we are. I was in a Discord the other day, as I generally am, because I, I spend my days a lot, of, I think a lot of us do now, in Discords of various types. I don't participate in all of them all the time. That would be exhausting. But I was in one and I was talking about the fact that I do these dead media images. And somebody said, oh, you should do one on the mini disc. I just now realized that one of my mini discs is, well, I guess that's, no, actually, that's fine. Uh, somebody said, well, why don't you do the mini disc? That's a good one. I mean, it's practically dead, which uh, it sort of is. Um, hold on. Sorry. I'm just, I realized I didn't group my stuff very well the actual mini disc itself. So let me turn this one off and this one off and 
let me group you know and there's a thing that occurred to me which is that the mini discs are in fact transparent so you would probably see the thing actually they're not all transparent hold on let me look at something actually I, I i say that but i don't i think there were actually colored mini discs and i think i am going to do that because i think it'll be interesting to see colored oh type that all wrong i'm just looking up quickly because i i the one that i used as a reference image was clear but i don't believe they all were no they definitely have there are definitely ones with color to them which I kind of like. I think I'm going to use the color thing. And I'm looking for an image of somebody holding one because I don't actually have mini discs. Yeah, here's somebody holding one. And even though that one looks clear, it's really not clear. It's like a shadow behind it. So I'm not going to worry about that. I was going to, I was sitting here going, oh, I guess I have to draw the fingers behind it because to the reference image that I made for all intents and purposes is I cut a piece of cardboard the size of a mini disc and then took a picture of my hand holding it so that I could get the proportions right. And then I found an image of a mini disc and basically replicated it without all the details. This is, these are way less detailed than a real mini disc is, but you don't need all that. And so I didn't see, I don't have mini discs. I wouldn't see my fingers, but from the pictures I just looked at, you can see like vague shadows. So maybe I'll put those in there if, if I feel like it, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So let's turn off these mini discs and let's see. <clears throat> Sorry. I think this is that's bone i believe this is bone as well so we can merge actually you know what i don't need to merge them yet i'm going to call this did i not hit rename okay bones one rename bones two what's this oh wait a minute oh i guess there's three i didn't realize there's three of them bones three okay uh, you know what? Let me pop this back up here so I can see if somebody chats something. I don't think anybody's going to show up, but that's okay. What do we got here? This is, uh, that is shadows or whatever I'm going to call them. Uh, okay. Shadows can move way down. Uh, I can go above mini disc though. What's this? That is a finger. That is a finger. That's the thumbnail. And that's the hand. That is. Okay, so basically we'll say hand one and hand two. And this is a fingernail. So I'll call it hand three. I don't really care. I don't need I don't need to be that specific. It's not gonna matter for this. Uh, we'll say hand four. Okay. And this will be hand five. Okay, so we have our hands. Shadows can be turned off for now. Bones can be turned off for now. This is like muscles. So we'll just say subdermal. Just meaning everything under the skin. Subdermal. Real easy word. Okay, yeah. So there's the fingers without the main disc. So let's actually... Let's start with the mini disc itself. Let's draw those first. Because actually I think that's going to be the fun part. Is drawing the mini discs. For me, I like, even though I'm not good at technical drawing, like I can't do it the way real technical illustrators can, I like drawing stuff like this. It's fun. So let's go ahead and let's combine all of this, all of it, into a group we'll call Sketches. Okay, so that's that. All right. Now above that is where we're going to put our ink layer. Not really ink, of course. This is all synthetic or faux, whatever word you want to use. Um, what's the size on that guy? I think I always go to 10. 10 is like my go-to because that gives me two levels. Then I can go to like 8 and 5 or even lower for detail work. All right, so let's start with this. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Um, what I could do... And it might be easier to do it this way. Just because... Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Instead of doing this one, I'm going to duplicate this entire group. Okay? Turn this group off. Flatten this group. And that gives me basically a, a symmetrical... Or a flat... I gotta, there's something on the iPad. A little piece of lint or something. 
I like this better as a starting point because this way I can do things with using some of the assistive assisted drawing stuff which I'm going to need because doing straight lines like this is not easy. I mean I could do it but I couldn't do it the way I want to do it so let's start off we got a layer here no oh, I did not there we go so let's start right here and we'll just start with this curve right there and see by doing it like this where it's on the flat plane where it's you know like at 90 degree angles or whatever you want to call it I can do this I can move this over and it's nice and even. See, I can keep everything evenly done, which just is easier for me. All right, so I'll go up a layer. Let's do this small corner down here. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna make a nice little U-bend, or not U-bend, I don't know what the C-bend, I don't know what that would be called. We duplicate it, we flip it, we move it to here, and we just keep it nice and aligned like that. And that should then allow me to go to my canvas. Excellent. So that is a, so if I do a new layer and I do assist, right? Now, because I've done that stuff ahead of time, I can basically take this and bring this line right up there. And that's a little off, but I can fix that. And that's not quite right either. So let's, let's base it on this one here. Nope, missed it. See, this is the tricky bit of doing this. Although, you know what, I can do it this way. I can do it this way, this is fine. Nope, missed it. Have to get it right. Actually, you know what? I did this backwards. What I should have done, actually it really doesn't matter, I guess. If I go here, ah, it's gonna be tough to get it. Because I'm, I'm drawing it a weird way, so. Okay, there we go. Bring it down, right there, perfect. Now that's gotta, I mean, that's not right. So what I gotta do is, oh, it's just that? Okay, well, I can just erase that. It blotched it on the top. That's okay though. Turn the assist back on. Fixing that is really easy. Then I can just come in here and, uh, I say that. Famous last words. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, no, it's not. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is what I get for saying, oh, it's just as easy as doing this. It's never that easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe this out and wipe that out. In fact, I'm gonna wipe all this stuff out. This is how we have to start this. This is how it has to be done. I should have done this from the beginning. And of course, I, I think this is how I did it when I did the sketch of it and forgotten the time between then and now. So we're gonna do this line, right? Oops. And then I'm gonna do a duplicate on that line. I'm gonna move it over. Line that up. There we are, perfect. Then we're gonna do the lines down here. All right, so we're gonna do this line there. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that line. Do a flip vertical. Whoa, hey, how you doing? There we go. <clears throat> okay, which I think is there, right? Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Did not intend to, but I don't need all that. Okay, so now, now I have my four corners, right? So that's the four corners of the mini disc itself. And then I need to do a very small, even though I didn't do this in the sketch, I know I want to do it, so where's assist? I just want to do a small lip. Um, we're going to knock this down to eight. And we're going to do a very, very slight lip. Oop, got to go to the actual pen there, buddy. Lip right there. And just to make this easy to line up, I'm going to do that. You can't see that, that's okay. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to do a flip. Oh no, sorry, not a flip. Whoa, why did it not? Uh interesting hold on a minute. that should have oh no because this top part has to line up let's see did that look right no no i i tried to be smarter than i should have been so there we go put that there i don't know there are times where i sit there and go oh yeah you're really smart no you're not no not 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 nearly as smart as i like to think i am so we just do that now i can basically do this 
and do nope gotta do a rotate and then line these up wow no that doesn't look right either i am an idiot okay uh why is it not working oh i know why i got it it took me a second to remember what i gotta do because i keep forgetting i have to make a perfect circle all this just to have this be symmetrical when I guarantee nobody will ever care. Nobody who ever sees this is going to care that I did this. But that's not how my brain works, so I have to do it this way. That looks pretty even to me. So now if I merge this down and I duplicate it, okay? And then I do a rotate of canvas and now I line these up should arrive at why are these not lining up i don't know why these are being so difficult about lining up so we'll just do a uh, difference layer no, no no come on okay do a difference layer um hi why can't i see it what is going on with this thing why is this being so difficult tonight usually it's not this bad not where I have these kind of problems. There we go. Okay. Usually it is not fighting me this much. Oh, well, that's my fault. I know what that is. I mean, it really usually is not like this. I did this earlier today. Had no problems. But that's what happens when you go and you put it on stream. See, because that's not even. I, I don't know why this thing is fighting me so much. You know what, though? It's not going to matter. It really doesn't matter. Again nobody's gonna actually care about this okay got it that's close enough it's close enough i'm not doing it again let's put it that way so now go back to 10. oh wait did i go to the, no why did it jump all the way i must have hit it with my finger 10. then we just do a nice line like this and we wait and there we go duplicate do a horizontal flip and all i gotta do is line it up with the other one there's a little bit of finessing maybe no 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 that looks hold on let me turn the sketches off uh, let's see it's a little bit off it's a little bit off because is the other one off look. it is a bit but you know what it's not it's fine this one here i can just shave it a little bit am i the wrong layer again oh why is it not this thing gets really picky about things sometimes there we go okay so we shave that a bit go ahead and merge that down now on the big lines we'll turn off the assist don't need that don't need the assist right now turn all the assists off find this one there it is Let's grab this and let's go ahead and cut that so it fits there. And we'll shave that so it fits there. Uh, let's see, is this one? Yep, there we are. Perfect. Very good. Now we gotta come down here. And we have to join these sides up. I don't know why that's like that, but it's also not a big deal to me. I'm not gonna let it, I'm not gonna let it bother me. These are meant to be fun. They don't have to be perfect. Especially like this. This is not This is not exactly a still life. You know what I mean? It's going to be a zombie hand holding a bloody mini disc. I don't think I have to worry about it that much. It'll be fine. It'll all work out. There we go. So, maybe a little more effort than normally would have to go into this. But it got there. We got where we needed to be. I don't have to shave those lines because they're fine. So let's, those stay where they are. I'm gonna move this down though. Oh, okay, I don't wanna group them. I just, I mean, it doesn't matter, but yeah, we can. Uh, all right, so let's do a new layer down here, a base layer. This will be the mini disc itself. Well, the inner ring will be the mini disc itself. The outer ring, let's drop it down to eight to match the other ones because we're now on an inner track. And let's trace this. All right, all right. 
can't see it, but, you know, close enough. Shouldn't really matter. Keep coming. As long as I'm close with this, we should be fine. There we are. And let's do a circle of that. Looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think we're okay. Do another new layer. We'll turn the assist back on. Now, let's do a line going like that. A line going like that. And that's our inner, whatever those are called on a mini disc. I have no idea. I just know they're there. Like a little gap track or something. We can shave, oh, go back to painting for this. You can have a larger brush. We can shave this down. And we don't need it on this side at all. It's only meant to be at the bottom there. So we do that. And this. And then we come to, where's the other one? Oh, it was both of them. That. That. Okay. Okay. Nothing in the chat. Okay, just checking. Just making sure. Just got to check. Make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so now the circle. Now this is where it might get interesting. Not interesting. It's just, you know, you be a little careful. I say it like, oh, this is where things might get interesting. They're not really going to get that interesting. I just have to make sure I don't erase too much. That's what's interesting. Don't erase too much. How fascinating. Right? Not that big a deal. All right, cut that. All right. Come over here and shave that out. Now I can go back to my painting and we can cut all of that out because again, this is not the disc. This is essentially the little indentation or area of the disc where it sits now. Now we can finally address these other lines. This one, Whoop. all right, and this one, boop. All right, then come to the other side, grab this guy. Okay, and that one, and now I should, I can merge those down, should be able to cut this as well. I do have to be a little careful with this one. Don't want to go too far. There we are. I mean, there is going to be a line there from the other thing, but still. See, that's why you got to be careful. I want to cut it pretty evenly. So, got to be a little careful with it. Just do not erase too much. See, and now we have our little indent right there. Yep. Come up to here. Oh, different layer, I assume. Where are you? Where are you? Above. Of course you are. Of course it's above. Would have been too easy if it was the one underneath because that's where I went. Okay. Let's make that nice and even. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. And there we are. There's our indent. Very nice, very nice. Now we got to do our inner disc. So this is the actual, the actual mini disc. So I'm going to thicken the line back up to 10 again, since we're now talking about the mini disc. And we'll do the outline of the mini disc itself. And I'll just go nice and easy going along this line here. And just keep going, keep going. And again, the nice part about Procreate, if you've never used it or you're gonna start using it, is these little variations in my line, which if I was doing this on actual paper, I would use a compass. But on Procreate, all you gotta do is join back up to your line. Wait a minute, do that. And it, it defaults to an ellipse because technically it is an ellipse, it's not even, and all I have to do is say circle. Once you do that, it converts it to a circle for you. You just gotta check to make sure that the circle is even within the space, which it kind of is, so we're good. So that's the mini disc part. Now you can't really tell the difference in thickness like this, but you can see it there. See, subtle, but it is there. And I'm gonna go one size smaller for the inner, these circles and all this stuff here, and then the inner kind of like shininess, all that'll get, that will all, uh, be on smaller lines too. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our inner circles. Now the one thing I have to look at, which I don't remember, is let me pull up a web browser very quick very quick quickly I should have said quickly I N I D I S C okay mini disc I just want to look at something here because uh, there's lots of really really good here's I think this is actually the image I use as my basis so okay so essentially 
it's a disc all the way through to that center point, which is metal. Okay, that's what I wanted to verify. Just want to check. That's what I thought. Just making sure there wasn't anything, any inner lines I got to worry about. Uh, there aren't, not for this. So we're on our new layer, 44, right? This is, the, this is its own layer, correct? It is. Let's go with this circle right here. Still only going to use 10 because it's still a mini disc. Still the actual disc itself. Bring it around, join that up. Give that a second and circle that. I mean, that's... I might have to readjust some of these for evenness, but they're pretty, oh, that's pretty good. There it is. Not bad. Now, you may be asking, why not just duplicate the layer and make it small? Well, I'll show you, actually. I'll show you why I don't do that. Now, watch. This will probably be fine. But let's say I was the... Oh, this is easier. Why, why redraw when I can just do this? This is a lot easier. Why not just do that? Actually, you know what? <laughs> that figures. The, the line's pretty clean. Sometimes it, Procreate will... And I'm sure it depends on how much you do it, but it will distort the edges. So you can't do that. Actually, I might do it on this one. Let's try it. You can't do it too much, I found, or it really starts to distort what the circle looks like, which I don't like. The edges start to soften. No, that one's okay, too. Well, we'll see how far down. Now, the only problem is that's probably shrinking the actual... I'm not going to do that for this one, because I think it's going to start shrinking the actual line weight, too. I mean, that would make sense, that it would start to make the, the line weight thinner, and I want to keep the line weight pretty consistent so just go ahead and that's fine i mean whatever this is not difficult it's literally just following a line see it cleans that up so well it's so nice like i said if i was doing this on pen and paper i would use a compass now, see i think it did see i think it did yeah see it slightly thinned that line out but at the scale this is going to be i don't care that's okay it does it's not going to have a material impact on it and it gives a little bit of line weight variation, so let's just pretend it was on purpose. How about we pretend I did that on purpose? I didn't, you know that. You people watching the stream, live or later, you're gonna know I didn't do it on purpose. It doesn't matter. All right, last circle for here, for this. This circle, bang. Let's get that centered. Okay, that looks pretty good. So there's our mini disc circles. Now, what weight am I at? Eight or 10? Back to 10. I have to do the metal clasp, which is this here. So let's go ahead and the rest of them I can actually go ahead and are they even? Let me turn this off and make sure these are even. That one does not look even to me. This one doesn't look right. Looks slightly off, let me see. Now it looks... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just me. No, that one doesn't look right either. Hold on. Oh, well. No, okay. It's all right. It's all right. I guess it's fine. Okay. I wasn't sure, but that's why you look. So we can go ahead and push. Actually, no. Turn that off. Let me make sure this, this one might. Yep. That one's okay. I might as well just check them all right here. Oh, no, no, come on, stay there. There, that looks right. Okay, so we merge down, we merge down, we merge down, just to save myself on layers. Merge down, because I don't have infinite layers at this size. That's the mini disc itself, perfect. All right, now let's do the metal clasp on the inside. So we will go above the mini disc itself. We'll go ahead and turn on that assisted layer, and we will draw right there and we will draw well let's replicate let's let's duplicate it so that we keep it even so that the lines are at the same distance like that and we'll put that right there that's not as important but that's okay and since I'm already here let's do another one and let's put that one right there and we'll do another one actually yeah that's a great idea is it? Is that a great idea? Hold on. Um, hold on. I may have had a. I may have had a good idea. That 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 should be on my tombstone. He may have had a good idea. Probably didn't, but he might have had a good idea. All right. Okay. Let's do a vertical flip. Okay. Perfect. See, and as long as that's close to being right, 
I, I don't really... Well, let's see. Hold on, let me look at this really quick. It's showing this one is basically right on the line like that. I don't... I will... I'll, actually, that's true. I can send this after the fact. I'm, I'm worrying too much about this. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a... Let's turn the mini disc off so I can have better vis visibility on this. And let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's do a new layer without any assist on it. And we'll put the curve in. Oof, that's not a good curve. It does not look curvy enough to me. Jeez, I'm really, I'm really screwing that first curve up. And that's too much. Well, you know, maybe I'm overthinking it. I probably am. Okay. And... Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Again, I, I am... Oh, I am overthinking this. For something that's not going to even be that big. In terms of what you're going to see, it's not going to be that big. Which isn't to say it doesn't matter. It's just I'm, I'm making it matter too much. Oh, that's not right at all. Turn the free form off. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Doesn't reach. Interesting. Huh, I would have thought those would be even. Doesn't matter. Merge down. Go to the old assist. Bring the pen up. And then we'll just do this. Yeah, not like not like that though. It's gotta look even. There it is, got it. Alright, so now uh, let's go ahead and combine all these together so we have one layer we'll turn off the assistant now this has to be basically halfway right that's it right there got it i figured it was going to be pretty close but that's the way to line it up so that's done all right let's go ahead and just scrub these out okay there we are and we have to of course obscure the main disc underneath but not yet actually yes we can do it let's do it Let's go ahead and put a mask onto that. There we are. Go to our fill. This we can use a big brush for because, actually I can use a paintbrush for it. This does not require quite the same level of precision. Why is it doing that? Why is it, why is the mask not? Am I not on true black? I'm not on true black. Wow, interesting. So I haven't been on True Black this whole time? Okay, hold on. I gotta zero all these out. Didn't realize I wasn't on True Black. But, you know. And if you don't know what I'm talking about. So if I go to... <clears throat> let's say this. See that? That's not True Black. Let's try this. Oh, that's, that's not... That's True Black. Okay. That's strange. Bizarre. Why is it leaving a ghost image? Why is that ghost there? It doesn't make any sense. Why is it ghosting? Why is the layer mask not... No, oh, that doesn't... That's weird. Why is it ghosting on that? Did I screw up my paintbrush somehow? Flows 100%. Yeah. Well, let's try something. Let's see. Yeah, that's weird. It's leaving a ghost image for some reason. property I have somehow messed up somewhere hold on I'm looking make sure I didn't that's odd that the mask is not selection mask visibility selection mask visibility I don't think it would be that selection mask that's not what I'm working with I'm working with a regular mask why is the mask not fully let's see hold on it's odd Procreate, I'm just searching for it on my phone. Procreate mask, not totally opaque. Let's see. Uh, masks, issue with clipping. Well, it's not a clipping mask. It's not a clipping mask. Not, 
going to say. Um, opacity. Procreate mask opacity. Let's see. Well, that's changing opacity of layers, but not... Yeah, it's throwing me off, because you can clearly see that it's not actually masking it out. And I don't know why. Darker shades become more... I understand. Yeah. I... I understand. Select the layer you'd like to... Okay, choose mask. I understand. Apply, al apply alterations. Choose mask. I did that. render partially yeah, I understand yeah see that's hmm it doesn't make sense with what's going on here it's not totally opaque and it used to be I don't remember it having this problem before I don't remember this being an issue okay, hold on where's the value all zeros that's pure black there you go. Can't get any more black than that. Okay, that's what it was. For some reason, it just was not. It was not going to true black, even though it really should have been. Uh, set current color. There we go. All right, okay. No, we're good. We're good. I don't know what happened there. Somehow it was not going to true black, which is disappointing because I've been using it, but... I mean, it's close enough that without the masking stuff, you probably wouldn't even see it. So it doesn't really matter, but it's weird. It's fine, though. I figured it out, at least. Because masking, whatever you paint, if it's pure black, it should be gone. Oh, whoa, I went way crazy on that. Sorry, I wasn't, I was, I was talking, I wasn't thinking. Oh, I don't, okay, that sounds really stupid when I say it. I was talking and not thinking about what I was doing as much. That's better. That makes more sense. There we go. So there's that. Let's kick this back on. And now, boy, this whole stream is just going to be making the main disc, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. Let's bring this... Whoa, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong pen. There we go. Let's bring this down to five. And I'm going to do exactly what I did when I did this initial creation. Turn on drawing assist. There we go. Let's move that to the center of the image. Which is right there, I think. Let's zoom in and find out, shall we? Where's true center? Well, I mean, I can kind of eyeball it. That's true center, I think. Oh. But I do need to also center it that way. Perfect. I think that's it. That looks even to me. So now what we do is turn off the assist layer, do that, and on layer one, we just change that to be, I like nice even numbers. Is that what it is, 15? No, 15 please. Oh, sorry, minus 15 please. There we go. And on this one, let's see what this is going to be. Numbers are better a better way to do this. 57, huh? 57 minus. Sensational. Duplicate. Let's see. What's the number on this guy? I like even numbers. I just do. Actually, 18.5 is fine. I'm okay with 18.5. I can live with that. I can live with that. All right. Let's do more. Oh, right there. What do we got for that one? Five minus. Boom. All right. Excellent. And as you can see, I'm just, this is just an easy way to do this. So, ooh. Uh, uh, so we'll say 27 minus. Close enough. This does not have to be exact. These are just shininess on the thing. These do not need to be even. 28.5. I'm okay with 28.5. That's all of them. So we go merge down, merge down, merge down, merge down, check, merge down. Oh, I missed one. Undo merge down. Replicate. And what do we got here? 
One, six, five, minus. Sensational. All right, merge down, merge down, and there we are, okay. Let's get to our paintbrush. I don't mind erasing these, that's okay. Because, I mean, these are so easy to recreate. This is not really, really critical. It's just the shine, these may end up going away anyway when I do like the shininess, but probably not, I'll probably leave them. I like this type of stuff, but this I can erase because these are so easy to recreate. This is not, I am not concerned about it. So you're not gonna see those. Okay, that's the, but you see that fuzziness, see that? That's what I'm talking about. See, that's what happens when you alter things too many times. I'm not gonna worry about it because these are only these light beams that, you know, like the reflections. They're not really that big a deal and they're gonna be very small in the final image, but that's what I'm talking about. You have to be careful because these lines will get fuzzy. And depending on what I'm doing, I that won't work. And I would actually go into Photoshop, which can preserve it. It's weird that Procreate can't do it. I would actually go into Photoshop. See how fuzzy that is compared to the line that's next to? So if I take this, see how fuzzy that's become? It's bizarre. It doesn't do it on everything. You saw it didn't do it on the circles. But I would go into Photoshop and do it then because that would preserve the um, the crispness of the image. Well, I'm just looking. So there is a, so what I want to do, yeah, we're going to do this. So this, ah, okay, can't do it that way. We'll use this because I want to, I'm going to leave that inner ring is going to have the reflections as well. The outer ring will not. Now that is not really accurate to a mini disc. The picture that I'm looking at, the inner ring doesn't have the reflections, but that's the beauty of doing an illustration. You can do whatever you want. So if I want it to be shiny, which I do, now it's shiny. Oh, I thought my, I saw my thing crashed. No problem, I'm gonna get it back. Uh-oh, whoa, oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I don't usually see that happen. Give it a minute. I'm glad I saw it. I'll get a drink while it's happening. Ooh, okay, well, it <laughs> jumped on my screen hugely. There we go. Mm. Okay, so let's keep going. So, uh, painting. Yeah, so a real mini disc, the reflections are only in that bigger outer circle. But for this one, we're going to have them be on the inside too. Because I think it'll look neat. So, why not? And there's no reflections in here because this is not in fact the shiny part of the mini disc. So go ahead and erase that and that. And there we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, uh, and those X's are where the darker and lighter parts are going to go. So now we just have to do the, look at that reference image again. Yeah. There, there is a, mm. Hmm. There is an inner shell to this thing, which I could easily probably do. Uh, where is the outer shell? I could probably manage it. What is this? Well, that's that. If I combine that, let's combine these. I'm just curious what this is going to look like. It's the top margin. There's, there is technically an inner shell to these things that looks somewhat, oh, sorry, beautiful. That would look somewhat like, you know, like that, I guess. I could do that. That, oh, yeah, I mean, looking at it now, I kind of like it. That is kind of what it actually is. Um, hold on, let me see something. This wouldn't be a big deal to just refine that. Refine that. Put that in here. I do kind of like how it looks now that I see it. <laughs> so I've kind of boxed myself in a little bit because I'm like, well, I like it. And since I like it, I'm inclined to leave it. Um, yeah, and if I leave it, it's his own thing. I can always get rid of it if I decide later I don't like it as much. That would be over that. Yes, right? Yeah. Oh, and the inner... Uh, oh, you wouldn't see it in here either. This whole thing is gone. You don't see any of that because the metal comes over it. Right. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave it for now. 
because I do kind of like it. Um, I mean, the only problem with that, the only problem with that, No, it's not a problem. Okay, I forgot. It's not a problem. I thought I had a problem there. I don't. Because this is not the disc. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Because that was the only thing I'm like, oh, it's, it shouldn't be intersecting the disc. It isn't. The disc is inside. It's just that piece. Well, it's not visible where this thing is. So it's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. No problem. We're fine. Okay. So yes, I'm going to leave it. I like it. I will have to move these circles a little bit. That's fine. Because I don't want them to be right on the edge. Even though they technically are, I don't like the way it looks. So for the circles, the little circles, what is this? Oh, that's the ridges. Uh, that's the inner bevel. That's the outer bevel. Um, well, no matter what, we're not getting rid of that. So I can merge these down. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Those aren't going no matter what. And that, yeah. So I'm going to call this... Outer bevel, even though bevel isn't really the right word for this, but that's okay. Inner bevel. Again, not the right word, but that's okay. What is this? Oh, that's those. Well, those have to go with the... That has to go with that. That's going to stay no matter what's going on. Okay, what's this? Okay, we'll call this disc reflections. Oh, I didn't spell that right at all. Reflections. I know what that means, so I'll be able to see it. What's this? We'll call this um, disc ring. It's good name as any. Uh, this is uh, metal shield because I believe that it does shield the actual thing. And we'll call this, of course, mini disc. Actually, I'll just call it disc. The whole thing is a mini disc, so we'll call it oh, disc. Thank you. Okay, okay, we got it. So now, we're gonna drop down to, we have the right one? We are. Let's drop down to, already on five. What's five look like? Oh yeah, five's okay, five's good, five's good. Nope, we're okay with that. All right, so what we're gonna do here is, I didn't do this when I did the sketch. I'm gonna do it now because it makes more sense. So let's make a circle. This circle just, this doesn't matter where it lines up with the rest of the image, this only has to exist for itself. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. And then I have to make a second circle. Well, I shouldn't have done that. So let's go layer up. And let's make a second circle right there. And let's do that. And now we'll turn this off. And we will move this to there. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Why did it? I don't like when it does that. I, I shouldn't really complain about Procreate. A lot of things do that. Okay. Now I need to combine that down. Now I can move this whole thing and duplicate it, which is nice. So let's bring this back. Come on, come back, come back, movie. Come back. There we go. So we'll move that. See, it's like I said, I don't want it right up against the edge. Even though that is, if you were to look at the actual mini disc, it is accurate. I don't like it. So I'm not doing it. Because I don't need this to be completely accurate. It has to look good to me. Ultimately, in the end, that is who you are really answering to yourself if you like the image then it's right period that's it there is nobody else to answer to unless you're being paid then you have to answer to your client so i shouldn't say it like that if if you're not being paid for whatever image you're working on then you only need answer to yourself don't worry about what anybody else says what you think looks good looks good that's it end of story I, I, I used to do this myself, and I know a lot of people who do it. You get caught up in this idea of how something should look based on what other people are telling you it should look like. Don't do that. Don't do that. You form your own opinion on something, and, and that's what matters. It's seriously, don't, do not go by what somebody else says looks right or doesn't look right. That's nonsense. What looks right to you looks right, and that's all there is to it. Just really. 
the, the, I, I, like I said, I say that as somebody who does that a lot. I look at, you know, if I saw somebody else who drew a mini disc and they did something different, my first reaction is, oh, I did it wrong. No, I didn't do it wrong. I did it the way I wanted to do it. That's it. Again, if you're not being paid. If you're being paid, then I'm sorry, you will have to consider those things. That's, that's the nature of paid illustration work or any type of paid client work is, yeah, if somebody's paying you, then within reason, because there is even a limit to that, you, you should, somebody who's paying you something shouldn't make, want you to make work that makes you look bad. I will say that's one exception. Somebody's asking you to do something that you know looks bad and is going to reflect badly on you as an artist, then don't do it. Refund the money. Say, sorry about that. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I've never run into that, but I, I, I know a couple of people who've done work and they really don't like the fact that this work that they, that the client told them to do, told them to do, they would never want anybody to know that they did it. That's bad. That, that's, that's not good. You don't want to have you don't want to have the risk of your name coming out with something you really truly think is a terrible representation of yourself. It's not worth. I mean, okay, I'm not going to say it's not worth any amount of money. If somebody gives you five million dollars or money that you could live off for the rest of your life, then do whatever they want, and who cares? But that's probably not going to happen. That's 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 a rare case. But if somebody came to me and said, "I'll give you a hundred million dollars to make the most ugly piece of work ever and put your name in giant letters on it," I would stamp my name on it twice. Yes, that makes me a sellout than a sellout BI. Because that's fine. Then I could make my own art on my own and not have to worry about anybody paying me for it. And that would be a, a wonderful freedom. It really would. But short of that almost it's certainly hypothetical situation, don't do work that's going to make you think that people will look at you and go, oh, well, I don't want to pay somebody who would do that. Because that's the thing, is it, you might get paid for that one thing, but it could cost you later. So, like I said, I, I do know somebody who ran into that, and they really regretted that they did the job. I mean, they got paid, but sometimes, and I know that some people will think this is absolute heresy when I say it, sometimes money is not the only thing you got to worry about. I mean, if, if you got to eat, you got to eat. Don't get me wrong. I don't want anybody to starve, but there is also a matter of kind of your personal artistic integrity, and that, that has a value too. Like I said, if it's between that and making rent, make rent. I mean, you got to have a roof over your head, you know, you know, there are times where you have to compromise. Compromise has become a really hated word in, a in the modern world, which really bugs me, but there are times where compromise is fine. You can do it. It's not going to kill you. Like I said, you know, some people think it will. It won't. Compromise used to be something they actually valued. But I don't want to get on a soapbox now. That's not what the stream's purpose is. But like I said, you know, for, for stuff that's purely for yourself, you're not answering to anybody else. You decide what looks good. And it's important to recognize what you like and, and be fine with it. You know? I actually, there was somebody, and I haven't talked to this person in forever, but there was somebody that I knew, an uh, artist, who had radically different styles for the stuff that she did for pay and for herself. I mean, almost to the point where you would think it was two different artists. It, you know, once you saw enough of it, you, you recognize there were some telltale signs, like there were things that you would recognize, some hallmarks of her work, of her style. But most people probably wouldn't even, if you put the two things next to each other for the, for the average person, they'd never be able to tell. They wouldn't know. And I was really fascinated by that. I thought it was really, really interesting. Um, and she, you know, that was a way for her to separate stuff that she really liked from stuff that she was doing for somebody else. It was interesting. Um, I understood it. I understood when she explained what it was. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I understand what you're saying. So, well, our mini disc, I'm happy to say, is done. There it is. Yep, that is the mini disc. Let me, um, you know what? I'm not going to leave you these circles. 
These circles are fine. Okay. I, I really don't need to have these all in separate layers. I can just name these uh, plastic holes. I mean, that's what they are. All right, so we're going to call this mini disc. There we go. Perfect. Well, it took a while. It took a while, but that's okay. Where is the, uh, oh, sketches. So what I'm going to do with this, as you'll see in a second, just so you have an idea of why we did it this way or why I did it this way. Oh, I have to put the, what do you call it? I forgot there's an indent to it. Hold on, so where's the outer bevel? This will work fine. This is a nice little trick, watch this. This is so easy, because I have to create that, you know, the edge to it, because it's supposed to be turned slightly. I'll turn all the rest of it off. There we go, turn this. That was not in the original sketch, I added that later. Uh, here. Did I turn it off? There we go. I say, yeah, I don't even need that much of it, to be honest. I really don't. Don't need that much of it. Just needs a little bit. Come on, just need a little bit. A little bit, guys. Just enough to give the indication that there's something else going on. Oh, and I have to do the... <sighs> I didn't think about that. Yeah, this has to... It's okay. Where's the shield? Okay. Turn the assist on. Put this back to what was I at 10, I assume, for that. Not gonna, whoa, no. That must have been 8. Looks too thick. No, well, I guess it was 10. Huh. Yeah, that's it. I got it. I'm not going to worry too much. These, it, I mean, they have to line up, but they don't have to be pixel perfect with this. I'm not going to see it. It's not going to matter. Okay. Er, not that one. There, we got it. All right, turn the assist off. Let's erase that, let's erase that. Erase that, erase that. Then we come to the outer bevel. You know what, I'm gonna mask this just in case for some reason I need something. I just wanna make sure in case I have to change something later or not. I don't kill myself here. leave that. For some reason, I like the way that looks with the line in the middle. Like that. I kind of like that. I don't know why. I kind of like it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I got the outer bevel. I have to... This outer bevel, I have to erase everything that is not that edge. Because, see, it's screwed it up. So, I just need to do this. Come on down here. Erase all this. Let's blow that out. Make this really easy. There we go. Bring that back down to size. Okay. Um, oh. I'm not gonna overthink this. Okay, so the reason I did that, this is what I was trying to show, is so now if I take this me disc group, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it, turn this one off. And now all I have to do for the image is because it's off center here. I just take this. Actually, let's duplicate two of those. And I just tilt it for what I need it. Now you'll see it'll probably fuzz the em the uh, edges on this thing, but that's okay. Why is it? Oh, I didn't do it to the right size. No, you know what? It's fine. Just do that. It's gonna fuzz the edges a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Let's see. Yeah, well, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's okay. That's fine. Um, okay, turn this one on and this one. We're going to angle that way. Well, look, look. Oh, wow. And that one's smaller. That's hysterical. Wait, do I have it the right direction? Oh, because it's not the right direction. It's supposed to be like that. That's why it doesn't look right. Although it is still a little small. A little bit like that maybe that's good but see now i've got my mini discs arranged for the hand so and the, like i said it does it does fuzz the the edge but at this size because you know the image is this big you're not going to see that that's okay so i'm not going to worry about it too much 
That's where you have to decide, okay, this isn't worth worrying about, which it isn't. So I didn't intend the whole stream to be just creating too many discs, but that's the process. That's how it goes. So on that note, I am very happy, very happy that the two streams are working as far as I can tell. The crashing problem seems to be solved. Um, yeah, I've got the chat windows. Not if anybody was here, that's fine. It's fine, but it, it all appears to be working. So let's go ahead and pop my Be Right Back screen back up and I can go ahead and de sherify that's not English, this thing. Anyway, the stream finally seems to be somewhat stable as far as the actual performance, which is great. And thank you for stopping by. Nobody was live, so I won't say live or later because there is nobody here who wants live. That's okay. So whenever you get to see this, because I'm sure some people will see this at some point. Thank you for stopping in and uh, taking a look at what I'm doing here. Hopefully it's not terminally boring. I don't know. I hope it's not. You know, this is, like I said, this is, this is the unvarnished process. This is how I do stuff. So I, I hope it's interesting to look at and see. Let me just get an idea. And on that note, everybody, uh, well, there's nobody watching live, but this may, if this posts on a Thursday, have a nice weekend. If it posts on a Tuesday, because I'm doing like Tuesday, Thursday postings of these videos later. If it's Tuesday, have a good rest of your week. If it's Thursday, have a happy Friday and a good weekend. Thank you for stopping by again, live or later. Doesn't matter to me. I just appreciate anybody coming by and, and looking at what I do. Go try to generate some creativity on your own in some way. It doesn't have to be drawing, it can be whatever, because it's good for your mind, your body, and your soul. And until the next stream, again, thank you for coming by and hanging out for a bit. And until we talk to you again, take care. <laughs>